Uh, next to me is sitting Pierre Francois, and you are here uh, the supply chain and operation lead for Europe from Accenture. So welcome. Thank you for welcoming me, and I'm very happy to be at uh, DPW. You know, it's been uh, the last two, three years has been uh, terrific. You know, no, no face-to-face -face meeting, and it's so good to have the opportunity to interact and hear what clients have to say. And you know, the world is changing every day, so you need to be connected and connect face to face with your client to understand what's going on and how to be relevant. I'm so glad you are here. So let's talk about these last two, three years where we couldn't see a lot of people uh, because of the pandemic. There have a lot of uh, turmoil been in this world. So what are the global trends you have to deal with nowadays? Well, you know, if you look at the last two, three years, there's been a, a world of turmoil, a lot of disruption, events all over the place, geo geopolitical, macroeconomics with inflation, climate change. Exactly. Let's, let, let's be, let's be, you know. Disruption is a new normal and supply chain lead, procurement leads have to cope with this level of uncertainty. So how do you do that? How do you stay calm and how, how do you define direction mm -hmm. to surf uh, the uncertainty and make it an opportunity to win against competition? So it's been a tiring time, but super, uh, super interesting. A lot of stuff happening and you have to rethink the way you operate. So very exciting. Right now, it's all about inflation. Inflation mm -hmm. disappeared for the last 20 years. And look, you know, we are in the 6, 8, 10% inflation. Totally new environment for procurement professionals. So how do you cope with that? How do you change the way you operate? Cost reduction has always been the core of uh, digital procurement, hasn't it? So yes, and it will always remain. You know, the number one KPI is cost reduction, but we are broadening the scope now. Now, procurement professionals have to look at sustainability because mm -hmm. you cannot buy at a cheap price if you're not sustainable. You also have to look at growth, you know, how procurement can drive innovation and revenue enhancement. So mm -hmm. the, the, the world of procurement is becoming more complex and more interesting. But right now, with the feeling that recession is back, cost reduction is uh, back at the top of the agenda and procurement professionals have no alternative but coming with a cost reduction opportunity. How do you manage transportation costs? Mm -hmm. Those costs are exploding. How do you reduce, yeah. how do you contain energy costs you know, skyrocketing? Mm -hmm. So inflation is all over the place, so cost reduction is back and you have to deliver because this yeah. is what the top leaders are expecting from uh, procurement. Mm -hmm. So how is Accenture dealing with this? Uh, there are, there's a lot of data to, to deal with. How do you manage well, that? Well, you know, data is at the core of everything that we do. And, uh, you know, there's no solution without data, without, without analytics, because you want to take decision, you want to have full visibility, and you want to take decision faster versus competition. So it's all about data. You know, for example, talking about inflation, do you need to, you need to understand what is your contractual exposure? You can't, if you have a thousand of contracts, you cannot do that without analytics. Mm -hmm. So analytics is at the core and reactivity, agility is the name of the game for procurement professionals to make the right decision faster versus uh, competition. Aha. Yes, and uh, why is Accenture so excellent in that? Well, you know, we are, you know, because, you know, we, we need to respond to our clients' uh, challenges. What we try to do is to come up with industrialized solutions. Mm -hmm. Because our clients do, do not want to go for PowerPoint, they want to have plug and play solutions. This is the name of the game. And a new element that we see is there is such a shortage of talents that our clients now, they do not ask about, you know, design the solution. They ask us, help us operate, help us get the right skills. Because there is a competition for the best skills mm -hmm. and all our clients are facing talent shortage. And this is a new equation. It's not about, you know, nice PowerPoint to, to say what to do. No, it's a help me do it because I don't have the skill, I don't have the capabilities and I can't wait six months. So Accenture is really keen in helping those yeah, clients. Yes, so what we typically do, we build the capabilities and, we, and then we transfer to clients because they, they think this is a core process. So they don't want to Accenture to run it for ages. So this is the type of business, you know, ability to help our clients build and operate is quite, quite new and uh, it's, uh, yeah. it's an enormous trend. Yeah. And I just wanted to briefly uh, talk about your uh, talk uh, this afternoon. You're going to give a keynote yeah, about resilience. Yeah. Uh, so we're, we're going we're gonna to discuss about resilience. But resilience is a typical buzzword. You know, everyone is talking resilience to such a point that at the end of the day, you don't know what it is. So we, we come up with very simple question. What do we mean by resilience? How do you measure the resilience of the end-to-end -end supply chain? Is there a measure for it? What are, what are the costs of resilience? What does it cost to be more resilient? 
what are the incremental revenues? So we came up with a model that we built together with the MIT to try to answer those questions. How do you measure the resilience of one company and what are the priorities to close the gap to really build a competitive advantage around resilience? So it's very exciting and uh, I'm gonna pitch together with my colleague, Professor Dav David Simchi Levi from MIT. And we, we think we did something uh, quite, quite special, so we're very proud of. Yeah. Hope you, you're going to enjoy the I'm presentation. Going, uh, I'm going to look forward uh, to it. So I wish you a lot of uh, luck with your presentation and with uh, networking at this fantastic conference. A lot of conference. fun, a lot of drinks with my, uh, with my clients, with my colleagues. So happy yeah. to be here again. Yeah, thank you so much, uh, Pierre-Francois. Talk to you soon. <laughs> Talk to you soon.